What's up, core reporters, and welcome back to my channel. Quite a few of you asked me in the comment section of that other video I published the other day featuring Prince William pretending to cook during a royal engagement to talk about Prince Harry and the scandal going on with his African wildlife charity. So I did some digging today, and as it would turn out, more information was actually released today as well. But I'm not sure it's the information that you guys are looking to have, but I digress. Let's take a look. So shout out to newsweek.com for this very comprehensive article about the story entitled Prince Harry's Charity Hit with New Torture Allegations. Let's get into the story and dissect it, shall we? The article reads as follows. Prince Harry's African conservation charity faces fresh torture allegations after a ranger admitted tying up suspects and beating them using her, a horrific torture technique called the swing. African Parks launched an investigation over allegations of rape and abuse by rangers, which became public for the first time in January. Now, Dutch journalist Olivier van Beemen has presented further accusations based on interviews with both victims and perpetrators in a book, Entrepreneurs in the Wild. So as we start off, like this is a very serious issue. It's still rather new. It only came out in January. But the thing is that Prince Harry has not yet publicly commented on it, which I do find to be rather problematic with him being a chairman. I think that at the very least, he can release a statement saying that he's disappointed to hear about what's going on and that he is awaiting the results of the investigation, right? Let's continue along. Former Zambian African Parks Ranger Foster Kalunga detailed the torture method called the Kampelwa or swing in extracts quoted in a UK newspaper, The Times. Quote, sometimes we use Kampelwa, said Kalunga, a ranger in Liuwa Plain National Park for five years until 2022. Then you tie someone up, hands and feet tied together behind their back, and you hang him on a stick between two branches. And then you spin him around while you hit him. It doesn't last long because it hurts a lot. When he hangs there, he says everything you want, even things he doesn't know. African Parks told Newsweek in a statement, quote, the book is replete with hundreds of factual inaccuracies and a similar number of intentionally misleading statements which reflect the author's own prejudices and his confirmation bias to paint a negative account of African Parks. In particular, his accounts of alleged human rights abuses are deeply flawed and based on statements taken from accused criminal offenders and dismissed employees or relate to incidents that have no relation to African parks. African parks has a strict zero tolerance policy for any form of human rights abuse and we deeply regret any violations that might occur. So there you go. Although Prince Harry has not released an official statement, African parks itself has released a statement debunking these claims and this book. They're saying that the person who wrote this book had a vendetta against African parks and decided to publish this book with hundreds. You know, it's not one or two, it's not half a dozen, it's not a dozen, it's not 10 or 20, it's hundreds of factual inaccuracies and hundreds of misleading statements. Um, again, they said that this author decided to write the book, right? From a perspective where he already has a negative, um, uh, a motivation to publish a negative story about African uh, parks. And they're also saying that the people that he interviewed are criminal offenders, AKA illegal poachers and people who are trying to do illegal things to damage African wildlife and employees who were dismissed, um, you know, perhaps for their, their negligence on the job already and had an ax to grind with African parks. They're also saying that this author included stories and allegations um, based on things that didn't even happen within African parks, but happened within other wildlife organizations. And not only that, but the author of the book apparently was discharged for gross misconduct after assaulting a senior DNPW, AKA Department of National Parks and Wildlife officer. And in relation to Kempelwa, you know, the torture method that uh, Mr. Kalunga had described, he said there are no records or knowledge of it being used in Liwa Plain by rangers under African parks management. So perhaps that is something that went down in one of the other parks. Remember, African parks is saying that this person is describing some things that went down in other organizations, but not African parks necessarily. So there you go, you guys. For all of you guys who are foaming at the mouth to drag K uh, Prince Harry about this story, the organization itself is saying that this person 
who wrote the book is lying throughout the book. They're saying that this person also was ironically enough dismissed for abusing people. So where's the smoking gun? What is there for us to be upset about? What, you know, like, yeah, I still do believe that Prince Harry should have um, released a, a statement saying that, you know, he's hoping an investigation is underway, something like that. But at the end of the day, when you dig a little bit deeper and you read beyond the headlines, you come to find out that this person who's writing this story is not the most credible source out there. And, you know, I do want to get into this actually. Um, when you when you start to ask yourself why would somebody who already has such a checkered past right of his own human rights abuses why would he go write a book accusing all these other people of that listen i don't know stranger things have happened it's kind of like when you ask why do people with all of these financial crimes um go on to the real housewives knowing that like their names will be ruined forever when the rug is finally pulled out from underneath them with all the crimes that they commit behind the scenes right some people are just strange at the end of the day i will provide an update to you guys if anything new or um you know more credible comes out about african parks but for now um I don't know that this is it. Listen, if these allegations are indeed true, that would be rather sad. And I do believe that a governing body would investigate African Park. So, you know, if that eventually happens, don't worry. I definitely will keep you updated on it. But in the meantime, let me know how you feel about this story in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.